but that over there is New Jersey. The south of New Jersey, here's Cape May over here. And here's the wake of the ferry I'm on, the Cape May Lewis Ferry, Route 9. This is Route 9 over the water. It's funny how they show it on the map, but it's a ferry bringing cars. And I think at some point we're gonna spin around so that these cars can drive off. But right now that's New Jersey behind us. And I started this journey in Port Jervis, New York. So I was north of the northern tip of New Jersey of uh, Montague, which is just above High Point State Park. And now I am heading, um, I'm heading southwest across the Delaware Bay. So I'm just gonna walk over for like 15 minutes while the, the ferry unloads and reloads cars and then get right back on and come back to New Jersey, but I thought this was worth running to. I ran from Cape May um, about five miles after already going close to 20 miles today. So I've done another marathon day. I think it's my fourth on the last six days that I've done approximately a marathon. One day I did more than a marathon and a few days, just a little bit less. But I've put on some serious mileage and I'm quite happy to let the boat carry me now. Cars and humans in unison, although I've been against cars all the time, but now we're both humbled by the great ocean and the bays. Um, so we need this boat to carry us across. I sure know I couldn't swim across, but I could get a little farther than a car. Water is the great corrective. Water is life. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'll go to the other side. I don't know if we can see Delaware at all. I doubt it, especially with this camera. Hello. going to the west side of the ferry but like I said the ferry is going to spin around at some point but this is heading west the sun is up there miles here from the south of Cape May. Um, got back on Route 9 and headed this way. <sighs> so yeah, I think I did. Um, yeah, it's in Delaware, Remy. Or we're heading towards Delaware. Um, I'm going to be there, I think in an hour, a little bit over an hour, and then just be there for like 15 minutes and then head right back. Um, just because I want to make sure I get back before the last boat. But yeah, uh, so I started in Port Jervis, New York, which was just north of the northern tip of New Jersey, and now I'm going just south of the southern tip of New Jersey, which is uh, Delaware, is the most accessible to do it without a car. So I got a boat, got a ferry here, and uh, they let me on. The police didn't stop me. Even though I probably looked insane, I ran there, I was sweaty, I could barely tell them what I was doing. But uh, I got on with three minutes to spare, so or else I'd have to wait another half an hour, hour, I'm not sure. So yeah, uh-oh, the boat's shaking now. I guess we're gonna test my seasickness. All right, so I'll just let this play for a little longer and then I'll end. Um, but yeah, it's very serene up here. It's not that windy either. It's windier in, um, uh, what well, was, I started in Stone Harbor this morning, so it was windier there, and, uh, what was it, Wildwood, but it's not too bad down here now. There's a boat out there. Let me get a picture of the cars. Yeah. 
I guess there weren't that many. There's cars in the back though. able to see that the ferry is going up and down. try something. I'm going to pause the video kind of a very uh, makeshift way to be politically correct. And uh, yes, I think we're just about south of New Jersey now because that's the tip of Cape May. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put the video in purgatory and just like get the window off it and we're going to see what happens because I'm going to pause it for close to an hour and see what happens just to see if, uh, if the video can resume. Because I know I've resumed it in the past when I do live videos by changing the window and then it stops the video. I found out accidentally because I wanted to read something in another window and I couldn't. So I'm gonna do that now and pick up the video when I get to Delaware. So yeah, all right. Hold on. Actually, you're gonna have to hold on a long time. <laughs> I'll probably lose all the viewers by then. All right. another ferry going the other direction so there's at least two my guess is there's one waiting at the other end in Delaware and this one's the next one to go to New Jersey and then come back so I'm guessing there's at least three maybe four I don't know I didn't get to look at a schedule to see how often because that would tell me how many there are because I think it's an hour and a half ride plus 20 minutes unloading or so yeah, the one you see now out there is New Jersey bound. Anyways, just some ferry information. I've never been on this ferry before. I don't know how many people in New Jersey know about it or check it out, but I thought it's worth it while he's down here. Ran here five miles. But I had a little rest in Cape May, so that was nice. Then I then I felt good enough to run. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna pause here and see what happens hey everybody all right uh i'm gonna flip it around so we're in lewis delaware lewis i don't know how to say that it's l-e-w-e-s adam just walking off for 10 minutes to say i was here and then get back on um wasn't the only all right yeah he came back I think what happened was the Wi-Fi of the ferry, they have their own Wi-Fi, they just shut it off. So now I'm back 
it had to transfer over to Verizon. But yeah, um, so yeah, like I said with the video before, which didn't continue, so I have my little experiment. Now I know that um, you can't just pause a video for an hour. Facebook, I guess, has some time limit and then they post it and say it's finished or somebody else just got in there and did something. But uh, yeah, so we're in Delaware. Um, I was commenting on the architecture before. Can't always be nice to everybody about everything. Yeah, we're gonna see um, those. And I don't think this ar these architects or these developers are very nice to the people, but it's kind of like, especially being on the water, this is just some boring houses right here. They don't look the same. So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna be in Delaware for long. Uh, oh, I can zoom. Hold on, one second. No, it's, what do I do? Ah, I figured it out. Gold! Oh no, there's the Night's King. I don't know why I got that, but I see Game of Thrones in the Night's King. right back on because I don't want to miss it. Oh yeah, they didn't even let us up yet. Oh, you see me in a minute. You're not done with me. <laughs>
Oh, 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 knees hurt. Oh, knees hurt. 27 miles today. 15 yesterday, 30 the day before. In total, I think in six days I've done, I should say nights too, I've done, um, I think 115 miles or so. So yeah, yeah, it is blurry. What's that about? What's that about? All right, here, I'm gonna flip it around. See my beautiful face. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm in Delaware. Um, so now it's official. I'm south of New Jersey from the north of New Jersey when this silly journey started. <sighs> Feels good, um, but it's not over. The pipelines are still there. The cars are still there. I was carless for a little while to show that it is possible for hundreds of years. Well, for almost all human history, we didn't have cars and now we're dependent on them. We're not gonna be able to get off them right away. I'm a little bit of an extreme example and I still was dependent on cars to ship the food that I ate. But um, it's definitely something possible. I'm curious about here in Delaware, just to skip issues, uh, what kind of pipeline issues they have. Because I do follow what's going on in other parts of the country and other the whole world really right now. And we are at a situation where corporations are essentially getting more and more powerful versus the power of everyday people wherever you are. It doesn't matter if you're in a Western country or not. Uh, democracy is dying because corporations are taking over. So um, there are a lot of other places. I know uh, personally about Colorado, fracking companies are buying up land there. Um, and if fracking fizzles out, it doesn't mean corporations are just gonna stop acquiring things. There's plenty of other corporations that are taking over our daily lives more and more and marginalizing our free time marginalizing our ability to own land and um yeah so i don't know i think it's got to stop that's me though but uh you know some of you might like corporations but uh i think you're silly for liking them too much like your family more put them above but um yeah so this is lewis delaware and you know thank you for uh being part of my videos so far i'll continue to make them and hopefully i'll improve i'm not um I'm not the best at talking to myself and believing that others are listening, even though I see names pop up sometimes. But, um, yeah, uh, there's not much to look at here, so I'm glad I'm just here for a little bit and heading right back. Um, I'll be in Ocean City tonight if all goes well, and tomorrow I'm going to walk a little bit of the SJ... G, yeah, SJG for South Jersey Gas Pipeline. Um... I was gonna get soda or something. Well, actually, I wasn't gonna get soda. What am I saying? I was gonna get Gatorade <clears throat> or something here, but you know what? I don't need to because I don't feel like I need to support the economy of Delaware any more than New Jersey's economy in the regard of buying drinks that I could just drink water and I have water. So, yeah, thank you, Marsha. Um, hmm. Hi from uh, Delaware. And I'm curious where you are right now if you're in Tennessee. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Well, you know what, I'll bring you around this way because maybe you'll see the ferry. But I really don't wanna miss the ferry because it's loading right now. I'll show the loading process. So any of you who are like New Jersey people and want a different way to leave the state, I know there's that funny saying, uh, New Jersey, free to get in, but you gotta pay to get out which I've found many instances where you can not pay. Uh, but this isn't one of them. This is Route 9, technically, I guess, continues right over here somewhere is Route 9 after it's on the water. So, um, yeah, and here's cars getting on, and there's not too many more, so I'm going to go back up before I miss the ferry. <laughs> oh, cool, you are back in Tennessee. All right. Well, I might have to visit, but here, I'm going to run. Actually, I'm going to end this just to make it easier. Alright, bye everybody. Lots of love. <laughs>